To a major development now from Trinidad and Tobago, the Privy Council today upheld the ruling of a court of appeal, making it law for anyone charged with murder to apply for bail. The Office of the Attorney General was seeking to have a decision by the court's local appeal court overturned. The court in February this year ruled that the automatic denial of bail to those charged with murder was unconstitutional. Now, to dig deeper into this matter, we are joined by our legal correspondent, Dion Jackson Miller. Dion? Right, first of all, why is this case of interest to us here in Jamaica? Well, first of all, Herman, the Privy Council continues to be our final court of appeal, and we're also having the discussion about bail here in Jamaica. The government has signaled that it wants to amend the Bail Act, and there have been concerns as to whether they're going to go the route of trying to shut out bail completely. And that is because of a statement that the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Minister made in Parliament when she said in reference to the amendments that are to come, if you're on gun charge, you cannot be on at large. If you're on murder charge, charge you cannot be at large. So expound a bit more. What was the problem with the Trinidad Bill Act? All right. Well, let me just, if we could just bring up our first slide and just tell you quickly in terms of the facts. This was a man who had been charged with murder. He wasn't offered bail because the Bail Act says you can't get bail if you're charged with certain offenses, including murder. He ended up spending eight years in custody. And at the end of that time, it was found that he had no case to answer. So if we could bring up the next slide now, because the Trinidad and Tobago Bail Act, as I mentioned, has a provision that says you can't get bail if you're charged with murder. But at the same time, the Constitution Constitution gives a right to bail in the terms that we have up there on the slide. And all that really says is that Parliament cannot deny bail unless it is justified in a society that reflects, reflects, respects, I beg your pardon, the rights and freedoms of people. So what the Privy Council did was to say, look, we understand why you might need to remand somebody in custody, right? For law and order purposes, perhaps to stop the interference with witnesses, and we have this up on another slide, perhaps to stop the person from committing other offenses. But when you shut out bail completely, when you say you can't get bail, if it is your charge with murder, then certain rights are being infringed. This includes the right to liberty, the right to bail, as well as the right not to be arbitrarily detained. So, so just to be clear, is it that even in high, high crime societies like Trinidad and Tobago or Jamaica, bail can't be prohibited for people charged with serious crimes? Okay. You never say never, but I am going to say that following this Privy Council ruling plus following a ruling by our own court some years ago in a case called Nation, it's going to be very difficult to see how a government can absolutely prohibit bail in certain circumstances. And the Privy Council gave their reasons for this. One of it, one of the main reasons is that this force, this takes away the discretion of the court. It says to the court, you have to treat everybody charged with murder the same way. And one of the examples given, imagine a terror who kills a whole heap of people trying to bring down the government, that person could be charged with murder. Imagine somebody who has a loved one dying of a terminal disease in extreme pain and killing that person just to put him or her out of their misery. This would make that the court have to treat both of these people in the same way and shutting out that discretion is always going to be problematic. Additionally, the court said that this is going to be unfair because as in this situation, you could have somebody who is now in custody for years when there isn't enough evidence against them and that is going to be a problem in addition it also means that what you really have now you know is that the police if the police say i'm going to charge you with murder it's essentially the police who are deciding that you have to right. stay in custody because the bail act um, cuts in at that point and prohibits the grant of bail so the court did say though that what can be done is restrictions can be placed on the use of the court's discretion so you can restrict the circumstances in which bail can be granted but shutting it out that's a no no no, no there all right good thank you very much Dion jackson miller or a legal analyst